hola chicas it's your girl kales here and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be of course from the title as you guys have seen it it's going to be battle of the beauty blenders or the beauty sponges i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys my pros and cons of my thoughts on the different beauty sponges that i have tried i believe i tried every kind of beauty sponge that you could possibly i don't know any good ones that i heard was good that were good i think i tried them I actually got this idea from Alt, from the new Alta sponges that came out. This is called the Makeup Blending Sponge Duo. And this is what they look like right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys if my ring light isn't acting dumb. But this is a package. It comes in and it comes with two of them. You actually get two of them for $10, which is really, really good. Um, and it's only one here because I actually used one today. And yeah and this is what it looks like right here when it's dirty they are white you guys so at first I was just like I don't want a white beauty sponge like it's gonna totally show me all the dirt and things on it and it might be a little bit tougher to wash and thing that's what I thought um but I went ahead and bought them anyway because I'm just like if it saves money then it's totally worth it um, I actually got this idea um, to get these beauty sponges from someone here on YouTube. Her name is Marlene, and I recently just stopped, started watching her not too long ago, and she had made a review about these sponges. So I said, how about I make a battle of the beauty sponges? So the first one I'm going to talk about, the most obvious one that we all have heard of, the mama of all beauty sponges is this right here and I'm gonna warn you guys these beauty sponges are dirty I've been doing Calvin's countdown and I haven't got a chance to wash these I'm actually gonna wash them today but this right here this is the beauty blender and I just have the black one and I believe the beauty blenders retail for $20 um and that's why I only have one honey that is the only reason why I have one I had this beauty blender for a while um a really long while because I'm just like $20 and nothing is wrong with it or anything like that so I went ahead and I got the black one and I bought mine from Sephora and JCPenney so my pros to this is it makes your foundation blend really well um it's pretty easy to clean um the one thing that I do not like about the beauty blender is that sometimes it can shear out your foundation too much and that means you'll have to use more products and that's the one thing that I do not like. The main reason why I like this is because of the finish when you do use it. But I, the reason why I was looking for another, be another beauty sponge is because I just don't like how much the beauty blender shears out, pr shears out products and I have to use more of it. The cons to this I would say is the cost of it and how it shears, it can shear out a product too much. The next thing are these things and like I told you guys my sponges are dirty i haven't used these <laughs> i don't even wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis so i usually use them one time and then i just throw them right in my little bucket my sponge bucket but these right here these are the real technique sponges um and i bought the two pack and this is what they look like right here um they have like a flatter surface at the like a slanted flat surface and then the little pointy guys at the end of it of the little butts I believe the two pack of beauty blenders, I'm not exactly, um, not sure exactly what the cost is, but I'll have it on the screen somewhere. But the cost of these two beauty blenders are cheaper than the original beauty blender is one thing that I want to say. Okay, so they, t they range in between $8 and $11. It just depends on where you get them from, but I bought the two pack because I needed more beauty sponges. I do like these beauty sponges. I just feel like they're harder to clean than the original beauty blender you totally have to go in a thousand and one times just to make sure the product is out um these like i said the only thing i don't like about these is that they take too long to clean um it absorbs a lot more water than the beauty blender does so i believe that's the reason why it takes longer to clean um but as far as like getting like the stains out and everything like that that's pretty good as well but I just don't like these because they take so long to wash them. And it's just like when you use makeup, if you are a makeup user and you use it every day, then that could be a problem for you. Even though you can use the wet, it's just like how many times do you really want to keep, you know, washing the pros to this is the cost of it. This is another one too. 
that I love about it. This is another one of the items that does not soak up as much product as the Beauty Blender. You will get a fuller coverage with the Real Technique sponge versus the Beauty Blender. Um, the only con to this is just it takes too long to wash. It's aggravating. Um, wringing the water out and everything like that. Um, that's the only con to these uh, Real Technique sponge. The next thing is this one right here. This one, I believe, this is an Ulta brand. It's either an Ulta brand. I forgot exactly what brand this is, but I'll have it on the screen. But this was the very first beauty sponge that I bought before I went ahead and it just bought the Beauty Blender. And this one right here, I love this one specifically for my concealer. It doesn't soak up that much product and it is pretty easy to clean. The only thing is that the dye from it, I'm trying to show you guys this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a yellow now. It used to be orange like the Beauty Blend, I mean like the Real Technique sponge. But as you can see, it's not. It's like super faded. I haven't used it in a while to be completely honest, but it's the color is faded. So yeah. Okay, so let's get into what we all have been waiting for. This is the Ulta Beauty sponge. I really do like this sponge like seriously I don't think I'm gonna buy another beauty blender I just feel like for two of these which is half the price and you're getting two for a beauty blender these ones are totally worth it um, I probably won't be buying another beauty blender I'll just keep using the one that I have and then just I actually feel like I'm gonna go get another another um box of these i feel like i'm gonna get this for some christmas gifts so yeah you guys i don't really have anything bad up to say about the beauty sponges honestly you guys they're not hard at all so yeah you guys this is my foundation i went ahead and did my foundation with this as well um this one i feel like does get a little bit bigger than the beauty blender but it's super soft it blended out my foundation really good and one thing that i loved about it and i'm glad i tried these it didn't share out my foundation as much. The foundation that I have on is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. And when I use my Beauty Bender to apply that the first time, um, while I've been using the foundation, because I have a review coming up on it as well, um, the Beauty Bender shared it out more. And I felt like I had to use more products. So I definitely wanted to try this sponge with it instead of the Beauty Bender for the review. And I really love how this blended out the foundation, you guys. Like, honestly, I feel like this sponge is a thumbs up. If you guys have been wondering, going back and forth, what beauty sponge should I get, you know, I would definitely say just go ahead and get the Ulta beauty sponges. So if you guys have been going back and forth wondering, like, which beauty sponge should I get, is the beauty blender really worth it, and things like that. I would definitely say just go ahead and get the Ulta Beauty Sponges. If you're that curious and you feel like you want to try a beauty blender just because that's what everybody else has used, then go for it. But I would definitely say you don't need it. I really, really do like these Ulta Beauty Sponges. And like I said, I don't think I'm going to buy another beauty blender. They work really good. The only thing that I haven't tried so far because I just used this, I didn't try to wash it. So I can't tell you guys if it's going to be easy or not to clean it. But what I will do is I will put it in the description bar to tell you guys um, for maybe 1 to 10 to show you guys or a description of how I feel about when it comes to washing it because I'm going to wash it after I get done filming. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that really quick review, Battle of the Beauty Sponges. I wanted to make it short and sweet because honestly, they're just beauty sponges, you guys. It's not that much to say. Either they put on your foundation good or they don't. They blend out the product good or they soak it up not that much i just wanted to go ahead and get straight to the point i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see any other products that you guys would want me to do any comparisons on then just let me know i hope you guys are enjoying kel's Miss countdown i know i'm behind a couple of videos i really do i know that but your girl is a working girl and i be tired i had no idea that it would be so much work to keep up with these videos like i know it was gonna be hard but it's harder than i thought but I'm going to keep rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.